look at some of these things you walk on. Sun's going down and we're gonna have to find a small town. So we were about to just book the room, but she warned us. Beggars can't be choosers. Good morning guys from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We are <laughs> just about to leave our hotel room this morning. Last night we went to one of my friend's weddings. For those of you who haven't seen an American wedding, this was a very interesting thing that took place. We wanted to show you guys. So people do things pretty differently in the Midwest and in the South. I'm from California, so things are a bit different. A little more traditional here. They have traditions like you just saw. So that was very interesting to me. So today we are heading off to Badlands National Park and it is gorgeous. We're gonna show you guys the whole trip. get some breakfast at my favorite place in Sioux Falls called Bagel Boy. So bagel. I, Alex always makes fun of me for how I say bagel. I went to college in Sioux Falls, so it's really cool to be back. And we're gonna go to my old favorite place before we hit the road to Badlands National Park. Here it is, Bagel Boy as they say in South Dakota and Minnesota. All right, we didn't have time to eat in there. We got it to go because we have to go. We have a lot to show you guys. So we're gonna eat in the car. Mm, look at this. We have egg, cheese, and sausage. Mmm. Mmm. Favorite place since 10 years ago. Okay, we are well on our way to Badlands National Park. We have about a four hour drive until we get there. It was formed millions of years ago and it's named for Badlands. So you actually find Badlands in other national parks or other places around the world. And it's usually like a dry, crumbly rock area that's formed by deposits, mineral deposits. Usually you'll see like a mix of colors. Like in this case, you'll see some tans, some oranges, you'll see pinnacles and buttes. So it's a really cool looking place. So we can't wait. <laughs> I, I've actually been to Badlands National Park, but it was when I was like a little girl. I was probably 10 years old, so I don't really remember it as well as I should. So I'm excited to experience it now as an adult. We got some good food in our stomachs and we're ready to listen to some music and have a good road trip. This place is supposed to be really underrated. So a lot of national parks have a ton of people going in, they have crowds all the time. The Badlands is one of those places that has less of a crowd compared to others, but it is an amazing place that probably should be recognized for that. So hopefully I bet there'll we, be like no people there too. Yeah, hopefully we don't see too many people. Also there's supposed to be a ton of wildlife, prairie dogs, bison, longhorn sheep, and you know how much I love animals, so I'm really looking forward to that part. Some of this is an interesting drive through South Dakota. That's the state that we're in right now. So we'll show you a little of the weird things that we see on the sides of the roads and some of the landscape. So you know what it's like to drive through the Midwest in the USA. Here it is. Keep seeing signs for Waldrop, 
the whole way here there are roadside signs <laughs> all the way in the middle of nowhere all the time saying wall drug. Lindsay used to see these all the time. So they're scattered throughout South Dakota. We've been driving for about two hours, three hours, and we've probably seen 40 of them, 50. Yeah. And we looked it up and there's 200 signs in South Dakota. And the weird part about these signs is they're all hand painted, they're all very different, and they don't tell you where wall drug is. They just keep saying, wall drug, <laughs> free ice water. They don't tell you where it is, they don't tell you what it is. No, there is no exit sign. Wall drug. It doesn't so what are you supposed to think? Wall drug. You've no idea I'll what like, that means. Wall drug. Wall drug with a dinosaur. <laughs> like what? Or yeah. like wall drug with like a man in a bathtub. Like So it's this very mysterious thing you see all over the state keep popping up and you're like, what is that? I think we actually might be near the town of Wall. So if we are, we will definitely stop and see what all these signs are talking about. That's one of the greatest things about the United States is the roadside attractions and the things that seem like they're in the middle of nowhere. Just if you have these long drives across the country, because the U.S. is pretty big, there are all these very quirky like and eccentric, obscure yeah. things that you can stop and see to break up the monotony of your drives. So, yeah, we'll see if we can do that if we have some time. Big prairie dog. We're gonna go feed some prairie dogs. Oh look, look. Oh my god! Oh, oh. Oh, he's biting my camera. <laughs> these little guys are so cute and amazing. They burrow in these little holes here and they're all over. They just pop up out of their holes. So these are prairie dog holes. Look at them wagging their tails. That one inside his hole there. <laughs> Whoa. Look at those teeth. I know. What are Pretty cool. So we're just right outside of Badlands. We're almost there. But this is just kind of a roadside attraction. Right off the side of the road you can stop here. You can feed these prairie dogs and there are a ton of them here. It's getting a little late and we haven't been to Badlands yet, so let's go see that. So you guys know what to look for to get here? There it is. Look for this big prairie dog. When you see that, make sure you stop. If you guys like travel videos, make sure you subscribe and click the bell down below because we're traveling around the world and we're sharing it all with you. So usually we're going to be doing international travel, but for the time being we're going to do a few videos in the U.S. The U.S. actually has a lot to offer, a lot of beautiful cool things, so we're going to show you a few things before we decide where we're going for our next journey. So look forward to the next couple videos. We'll be in South Dakota and Minnesota. And then, who knows, we're gonna buy a ticket and just go. But first, we're probably gonna ask your guys' input of where you think we should go next. If we could go anywhere in the world, where do you think we should go? Leave your comment below and we'll take a look and we'll see if we can go there. There it is, the beginnings of Badlands. See it back there? Awesome. And this is what it looks like when you're getting into a national park. Wow, it's our lucky day. 
Usually you have to pay to get in or you have to have a national park pass, which costs around $100 for the whole year to get into all the national parks. But today's free, so I didn't even have to give her my pass. Okay, this is the first overlook. We're gonna stop here. This looks awesome. things you walk on if you can tell there's a big canyon here and then just this thin little trail it looks like it's crumbling apart kind of scary look at this just enough for your feet Ooh, I better hope I don't fall and break his new camera Ooh. wow now this is the view this is the best view oh. goes on for miles. Hey guys, now we're stopping at the White River Valley Overlook. We don't know anything about this, but it looks like it would be a good, really good view. I'm going to switch to this gimbal here and my phone and see how stable and amazing this shot can be. So this here, this is called the iSteady. We're gonna start trying it with the iPhone and see what it can do. Our first spotted bighorn sheep, I believe it is. It's the first wildlife we've seen here. sheep on the road. Huh. Wow. They're not even afraid of the car. They come right next to it. Wow. That looks cool there. These are all yellow mounds. A little bit different. Stop at an actual sign, at an actual overlook. 
You can just stop on the side of the road like we did right here. Wherever you want. And we found that that's better sometimes because there's less people. Usually no people, but sometimes if they see your car stopped, then they'll stop and follow because they think it's, you know, a special place and that's why people have stopped. But like, look at this, we've had this to ourselves. Crazy, crazy view. We're on the loop where you're gonna be able to see bison. Let's go see what we can find. So we just stopped at Prairie Dog Town or something where we see a bunch of prairie dogs on the side of the road. We are at Robert Prairie Dog Town. There are tons of prairie dogs just wildly roaming around. It's so cute. Awesome. We are right next to them. They're just hanging out, standing up next to us. They're like squirrels. They have wild personalities though. So these holes are their homes. Wherever you see prairie dogs like these, you'll see a bunch of these. tribes of nomadic people here for thousands of years. Hunters, people who just came through here hunting for the most part. And then you have the Native Americans that you've heard of, like the Sioux, they came after that. And the Lakota, right? Yes, I think so. <laughs> there are too many names to remember. So places like this, they look pretty much lifeless today. I mean, there are some prairie dogs and some bison, these creatures that can handle um, can handle climates like this, but it doesn't seem like much would live here. So they're super far away, but we just spotted hundreds of bison. All those black specks, those are all bison. And bison are actually huge. If we can show you one up close, we will. They are massive. All right, we're stopping to see the bison that are closer to us now. This is about as close as we're gonna get. So bison are actually extremely dangerous if you're up close. They can run 30 miles per hour, so if you get closer than this and they get angry, they can chase you down and kill you. So we're not going any closer than this. I'm pretty much on the road still. Just wanted to show you guys some bison. Up close, they are huge, huge animals. Okay, so this is called Hay Butte. It's Hay Butte Lookout. So it's just a little outcrop where a couple of people can park and we're here for the sunset, which is just starting. The Pinnacles is where most people go, but we wanted to go where there's no other people. So we came here and there's no one. 
we took a look at Pinnacles because that's where they say to go for sunset and there were probably 50 cars there and there aren't many people in the park so I think everybody's going <laughs> there for sunset so we wanted our own thing look at this just us here this is crazy beautiful look at the colors that are starting it's not even sunset yet look at the moon up there wow and luckily the wind has died down a lot so you can wear a hat without it flying off many reds and oranges of the sunset but just the blues against these orange pinnacles it's making the orange stand out a lot more it's just so calm and still so as the sun is setting you can see the moon on the other side and it's glowing and it's gorgeous what a great way to end the day the sunset was awesome and we haven't eaten too much today. That tends to happen when we travel. So <laughs> we're gonna find a place to eat food. Also, we have not booked accommodation yet. Talk about last minute. It's like 6.30. Sunset. <laughs> Sun's going down and we're gonna have to find a small town. Usually there aren't many towns <laughs> or cities around. We're trying to stay around. in Wall, Wall Drug, what we were telling you about earlier. Yeah, so the city or the town, the little town of Wall mm -hmm. is nearby and they probably have a few hotels motels so we're gonna look there and see what we can find grab some dinner if yeah. anything is open <sighs> and if they don't have anything for us we're gonna be sleeping in our car with no blankets or pillows so let's hope <laughs> it doesn't come to that but we're prepared it could happen this is crazy look at this Alright guys, we're in the town of Wall. This place looks really cool, but we will show you more of Wall tomorrow. For now, the Badlands Saloon and Grill. Look at this. We made it to Wall Drug finally. We'll show you more in the morning. This place actually looks a lot nicer than I was anticipating. This is like wow. a tiny little small town place. How would you expect with a saloon? Yeah. We just ordered some food and we got one adult beverage each. I got a sour ale, delicious. And Alex got a cider. Oh, you're almost done. Yeah. All right. Um, I ordered a burger that sounds amazing. I'll show you when we get it. And Alex got, what'd you get? Alex also got a burger. Pretty basic. Comes with french fries. But when you're in the US and you've been in other countries for a long time, a burger is kind of what you want to get. A burger and fries at a diner or a saloon like this, that is the quintessential American experience. And so you get some beer or some drinks, Burger and fries, that's... Can't do it any more US than that. Look at this. Pickle right on top. Mm. So what I got is called a Badlands Burger. Let me show you. There is some cheese. Well, cream cheese. Provolone, raspberry preserve, jalapenos, bacon, and the beef patty. And I got the bacon burger, which just has cheese and bacon. A plus. We haven't eaten much all day, so this is hitting the spot. All right, we just finished dinner. It was awesome. And we were just looking for hotels for the last 20 minutes. Almost everything. <laughs> was sold out. I called probably eight places, all sold out. Probably because it's a Saturday night, so we bucked out finally. Yeah, we were looking for a cheap option because the US is not cheap. You can find a very, very basic room in the middle of nowhere. It still costs you 
$50 to $100. It's not like that in many countries around the world. You can find cheap and decent accommodation, but in the US it's very hard to find. So. We lucked out with around $60 a night, which is still expensive for what it is, a very basic room, but it's it's all we're going to get today. We'll take it, we just need a bed to sleep and then maybe some Wi-Fi. Yep, so we'll see you there. Okay, so can we try the best master? Did you want to take a look at the room first, because it is on the basement level, so I just don't want you to be happy with it. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be number 82. So we were about to just book the room. But she warned us that uh, we should probably take a look at it before we book it. She said, I don't want you to be unhappy and walk in the room and be like, what did you sell me? And <laughs> I've never checked into a hotel or tried to make a reservation and then say something like that. So we're thinking we better take the warning sign and take a look before yeah. we pay. We were just going to book it. We don't really care. We're not that picky. But if we got several warning signs to go check it out, we're hoping it's not very, very bad. It's their cheapest room. So... Let's go check it out and we'll show you. Otherwise, we might be sleeping in our car still. This is weird. We're getting the cheap room. This is what happens. Oh, it's like actually in the basement. I didn't even know motels had basements. <laughs> How low do we go? I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. It's the last room that she has, so beggars can't be choosers. Is something gonna jump out at us? <laughs> it looks alright. Huh. It's actually not bad. Yeah. It's actually better than a lot of places. <laughs> yeah, look oh, at this. there's a little something on the floor though. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll take it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's either this or the car and it's pretty outdated but look it's it's pretty there's it's a good it's a good size it has a fridge and a microwave and a sink like what more can you wait do we have a bathroom yeah I was let's take a look i was expecting worse it doesn't smell bad either okay not bad at all wow. all right we'll cool. take it i mean some people maybe don't like basements maybe that's why she was warning us yeah I was thinking there would be a bunch of cockroaches or something like that. A lot of times you'll get cockroaches at places that aren't very expensive. I was thinking it would feel dirty or something. Yeah. Or smell like smoke. Or meth. But, does this get me? But, when you're... Y <clears throat> but, when you're... But? But. <laughs> But Chris Dry Bro, you got an itch? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I miss potato head. Cool. You have a fluffy bacon there just <laughs> Welcome to the rock with the best view in the world, but we're going to find out.